Welcome back to another episode of Misadventures of Box Opening. Just got this box in the mail and wanted to do a quick box opening for all of you. I've got Sun Bear in my Savinelli. This is a Series 2 unfinished, or Series 3 unfinished Savinelli, uh, Canadian. It's been patinaed very nicely. All right, let's do this. I'm going to tilt the camera here. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at the loop. So, um, C&D just re-released Carolina Red Flake, small batch. You can see here on this particular tin that the production date is uh, September of 2020. And this is tin 8,359 out of 10,000. So it's a slightly larger batch. Now I've heard good things about this blend. Um, it is a obviously a uh, red Virginia blend. And uh, oh, the uh, tin says that it is uh, sugar content of 8.33%. Never seen that on a tin before. Uh, let's see here. All right, it's got a description on the side of the tin of what's in it. So give you a quick reading and we'll see what it says. So it says, it's a blend of the finest North Carolina grown red Virginias harvested in 2015, so five years ago. Our Carolina red flake is a tribute to the old belt. Plucked straight from Carolina soil, these top-tier Virginias were all grown, thrashed, blended, pressed, and then lovingly sliced and tinned right here in the heart of the old tobacco country. Sweet, tangy, and spicy, Carolina Red Flake is both surprisingly straightforward and pleasantly complex. You'll find it's rich, deep, and earthy with undertones of dried cranberries, orchard grass, and citrus. I usually only taste the grass, so I have no idea what that means. All right, so I went ahead, figure okay, tobacco, it's kind of an investment. Pretty much buy a tin and sell that tin on the off chance you don't like it for basically what you paid for it. So really can't go wrong if you get a bunch of tins and you don't like it. You go ahead and sell it or trade it. So I went ahead and got four tins of this Carolina Red Flake. So let's take a look. So we've got tin 8359. We have tin 8488. We have tin 6146. And they do have the uh, the standard C and D sticker on the bottom of them, so I know what the exact date is. And then 8468. Okay, so um, that says September 15th. September 14th, September 15th, September 15th. So, um, these tins are exactly one month old because the date of the recording of this video is October 15th. But I couldn't stop there because I needed to get free shipping. And with SmokingPipes.com, you need to make a minimum purchase of $95 to get free shipping. So we got a few more tins. 
so there's something about this that I want you guys all to know. I really enjoy smoking a pipe, but honestly, I almost enjoy collecting the tobacco more. Um, I've got so many tins of unopened tobacco, um, and I just keep buying more and more and more. Some would say I've got a bit of TAD, tobacco acquisition disorder. Yep, I'm a collector. What can I say? I enjoy collecting. I love the tin art. Uh, and if uh, taxes go through the roof or regulations come down and we can't buy tobacco anymore, I'll be covered. So figure also a doomsday prepper, I guess. <laughs> All right. So back to it. Um, so again, in the vein of collecting, as you've seen uh, in videos such as that video right there, um, I've been kind of on a kick of collecting you know, various tobaccos from the same blender. So... so um, I've been lately picking up a lot more GLPs blends. I uh, really enjoy the blends that I've got that I've smoked. Uh, what I've got are um, Quiet Nights, Meridian, and Chelsea Morning. So I've got those three opened and jarred, and I've been smoking on, on those. I uh, really enjoy them. And so I figured might as well get some more. So... Got five tins here from GLPs. Let's see what we got. We've got what is that Regent's Flake. This says it's a generous measure of fine Izmir leaf is layered on a sturdy foundation of mature red and sweet bright Virginia tobaccos. Then pressed and allowed to mature and ferment in cakes before being sliced and tinned. This is one for the lover of oriental mixtures with their exotic and enticing incense-like aroma and brilliant flavor. Rub up a flake or two, fill a cherished pipe, and prepare for an exceptional smoking experience. So, Regent's Flake. Um, oriental in Red Virginia. Stonehenge Flake. This tin says... Before I get there, let's take a look at the date. So the uh, region is June 25th of 2019. So this already has a year of age on it. All right, Stonehenge Flake. Date on this one is March of 2020, so uh, about half a year. In 2001, I had the honor and pleasure of collaborating with GH and Co.'s John Goweth on a very special tobacco. After nearly a year of development, Stonehenge Flake, a modern uh, Virginia Preak blend, vapor, uh, steeped in English tradition, was born. Fine Virginias are layered with Louisiana Perique and just a touch of burley for added body and a fuller flavor, then steamed, hot-pressed, and matured. The cakes are thinly sliced and tinned, ready for your smoking pleasure today and for many years to come. So, I thought that was kind of cool. I like the Goweth blends. Um... So, really curious to see what this tastes like. So that's the Stonehenge Flake. I need to learn how to talk with a pipe in my mouth. At least so that you can understand me with a pipe in my mouth. I can talk with it in my mouth. You just may not understand me. All right, next one up. Penny Farthing Shag Cut. The shag, blend, shag Cut blend of bright and red Virginia spiced with Louisiana Perique and a hint of fire-cured dark Kentucky. Ooh. Easy to pack, easy to smoke. Sipped gently, Penny Farthing opens with a sophisticated sweetness, evolving in depth and complexity throughout the bowl to a rich, satisfying finish. This is also June of 2019. So it also has better than a year of age on it. Cool. 
All right, next guy up. Let's see here. Where's the name? Uh, oh, it says Westminster. You see that? Westminster. All right. Date on this one is September of 20. So this is fresh, brand spanking new. Westminster, the very essence of the traditional English mixture, rich, elegant, refined, and exquisitely balanced. New World Red Virginias are enhanced with a gentle caress of bright leaf, then lavished seasonally with rich oriental tobaccos and generous measures of noble, noble Cypress Mountain Latakia. Westminster is a full, satisfying mixture with flavor, layers of flavor to delight the senses as it develops in the bowl. Perfect everyday smoke. Noticing a theme here, like almost all of these have Red Virginias in them. So this must be the Red Virginia box opening. Gaslight, uh, tinned in March of 2020. On a misty, uh, let's see, hang on. All right. A rich Latakia mixture pressed in one ounce cakes on a misty moonless night along twisted cobblestone lanes illuminated only by the glow of ancient iron lanterns was a, uh, sorry, illuminated only by the glow of ancient iron lanterns. You follow a scent as dark as the night itself. The exotic fragrance hauntingly familiar, compelling, irresistible. Open the tin, discover the mystery. Hmm. All right, so Gaslight is in the Old London series. GLP's Westminster. I thought this was a separate series, but maybe not. Penny Farthing is also in the Old London series. Stonehenge doesn't say. Regent's Flake. Is also in the old London series. I think the tin art on the old London series has changed. Um, I think the older tins used to have this map on it because um, I've seen several of those. But the newer ones have different type of artwork on them. So, all that's left in the box. Is the wagon slip. Yep. I got what I ordered. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. We have... I'd say that's a pretty good haul. I appreciate you watching, and stay tuned for the next video. It's coming. Don't know when, but it's coming. Happy smokes, folks.